Thomas with TGT Custom Works. Today we are going to discuss the lower door stainless steel sleeve kit for the IC entrance doors. So this kit is really meant to eliminate the need to bust out the air hammer and the grinder when this pin gets all worn out. All right, so really what we're going to be doing here is we're going to sleeve this old worn out pin. We've got a retrofitted brass bushing that will go with it, greasable, and then your bushing cover, okay? So, I'll show you how it's so, done. We got a door here. Obviously, it's not on the bus, all right? Um, you gotta take that door off. So this pin here, we all know they get worn out, they get corroded. The goal is to get it as clean as possible. We just use a wire wheel. Get all that crap cleaned off. Whatever you gotta do to make it happen, make it happen. Pins cleaned up, shiny, looking like a diamond. We're gonna use JB Quick today. The Quick is quick, man, but JB Weld is, uh, is what we standardly use. Got the JB Quick two-part epoxy. If there's anybody out there from the JB Weld company, we thank you for your products and we rep them hard, by the way. Give us a call if you want a wholesale. All right, so again, this is going to eliminate the need to remove that pin, which is a good time. Everybody enjoys that. But for those of you that would like to dumb down the excitement in life, we got a sleeve. So really what the goal here is, is to cover that corroded pin that is now nicely cleaned. Bling, bling. With a good layer, all right? We don't want to oversaturate. We don't need to overdo it. We certainly don't need to cover every, every little piece of space on there, but you wanna make sure that you got a good hold So you wanna make sure you have a good layer, okay? I tend to kind of leave the bottom with a little bit of space here, just so you have a little bit less coming out of the bottom when you do slide that sleeve on. Sleeve is stainless steel. You're in the Midwest. You know why we appreciate that. We're gonna apply right over the top there. And give it a nice twist. I kind of like to pull it back, get some of that goop at the bottom, and back on. All right. That's a pretty clean set right there. So you see you got that little ring of stuff here. That amount is safe. That you can leave. That's not going to get in the way of that brass bushing. But if you have a lot of extra, or if you end up getting some on, that stainless sleeve, take a razor to it, scrape it off, take a paper towel, wipe it off while it's still wet, whatever it is you need to do. Just make sure it's not going to get in the way of the brass bushing and the cover, okay? Once the sleeve is on, we're gonna have you fill in that little end portion. So right in there, we're just going to put a little little bit in there. Flawless, seamless. Excellent, beautiful. All right. JB Quick needs just a couple of minutes to dry. If you have a little bit of extra, oopsie, right here, I got a booger. I don't want it, not even that little bit. Take that off. If you do need to hold some of this additional stuff in at the end, we take we just take a piece of tape, put it right over there. All right, so we got our pin set. It's literally been, what, two minutes? So it's been, yeah, just a couple of minutes. We got the JB Quick pin is set. Again, notice how there's just a little bit of extra around the edge there. And then we've got the end there filled in, not too much. 
Like I said, if you've got some drip going on there, throw a piece of tape over it for a couple of minutes just to help it hold and secure. Secure it while it cures, but here's ours. Ours is mostly cured for the sake of the video. It's cured and we're good to roll, okay? So you guys, literally this kit makes it genuinely this easy. There is no air hammer, there is no grinder, there is no nonsense. I heard the smells terrible. I don't know anything about that. I'm gonna take people's word for it, but I don't want anything to do with it. Got the brass bushing here. And again, the cover. Comes with a second hole that's to accommodate that zerk, all right? Now it's time to get the cover. And that bushing on. So again, there's your cover. I kind of rotate it. Get that bushing slid on. Line them up. Boom. Again, stainless steel sleeve, greasable door pivot. No removal of the pin. Bus is back up and running within one to two hours. Time. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining again today. Again, this is Alex with TGT Custom Works. Talking about that IC pin kit. Give us a like, give us a follow, share with your friends. So we're gonna talk a little bit of science here first. So this all makes sense, okay? So let's talk about steel. Steel and stainless steel both contain iron and carbon. The special thing about stainless steel is that stainless steel, in order to be considered stainless, has to have a 10.5% or more chromium content. Why does that matter? Chromium content equals building a protective layer when it mixes with the air, okay? So anything less than that is not going to build that protective layer when it's connected with air, and that is why stainless steel is so highly resistant to rust and corrosion, okay? And we're gonna bring it into corrosion. There are three things necessary for corrosion to occur. Number one, an electrolyte, water. Number two, an exposed metal surface, door pens. Number three, an electron acceptor. What is going to take that electron, accept it, and then the build off of it. That's gonna be our air, okay? So these three things are necessary to create corrosion, which is what we're trying to avoid. Now, we take the electrolyte, which is water. If you picture that door pin, we're driving along, we're in a bus, it's rained, we splash through a puddle, that pin is directly exposed to that water, okay? We have that exposed metal surface, now it's got water on it, we breathe the air all the time, it's got an electron acceptor, it's a beautiful makeup for corrosion. Stainless steel, okay, 10.5% chromium content or more. With that stainless steel sleeve, put on with that JB weld, and then that JB top that's gonna go over right on the end of that sleeve, that's why we close that top off. We've now taken out the ability for the electrolyte to touch that exposed metal surface, and when I say metal, right now I'm talking about a mild steel, a carbon steel, not a stainless steel. We have an exposed metal surface that is now eliminated, covered it with stainless steel with that sleeve, and the electron acceptor air, again, it's not going to get to that corroded pin. Boom, boom, boom.